Good evening, everyone, and I am back with another video. Hey, you know what I do when I get off my real job and I come home. I sit, have fun time with the family, talk things out, see how their day was. Then I'm back in my office studio breaking out salacious stories for you all. Yes, and if you haven't subscribed to me, subscribe to me. And that's all it's going to be. All right, we're going to get right on into the story. Celebrity Insider brought this out, and I thought I would talk about my ladies of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, we got one hustling, 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 hustling. Yes. We got Nene Leakes, none other than the self-proclaimed HBIC on the Real Housewives of Atlanta sitcom show, reality TV show. Yes, we got it going on. We got it going on. Nene is out there hustling, 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 hustling. Yes, she's doing that doggone thing. That woman gonna hustle until she can't hustle no more. And I guess she should be hustling because she is, how she said, the breadwinner of the family. Now, she's the breadwinner of the family now because Greg, you know, I'm sure he's in his retirement time and he has had a lot on his plate. OK, so I guess it's time for him to sit down, enjoy life and just be around his wife as much as he can. All right. But we're going to get right on into this story. It was brought out by celebrity insider journalist, columnist. How do you want to see him? His name is Ron Collins. Get into it. OK, his title of his article reads, Nene Leakes is chasing the bag these days and her fans are here for it. All thing I'm saying, don't chase too hard, Nene. <laughs> don't chase too hard because you got age on your side as well. OK, so keep yourself healthy. Keep yourself in good thoughts and keep making your moolah. OK, but I would like to say one little thing. I was just trolling through the video shots and photographic shots or photography shots, however y'all want to look at it, trying to find these pictures of lovely, lovely Nene, okay? And I'm telling you, I like the short haircut. I ain't too much feeling the blonde because a person of her tone, her skin tone, it should be, we should be seeing a lot more uh, darker reds on her, some browns, something that gives me total black girl power, a black woman power, you know what I'm saying? I'm just not with, and I mean, it's okay if you want to wear it here and there, but I just wish she would change her hair color because it's, it's just getting old. I want her to have another look, but that's just me. She's going to do what she want to do because she make her own dollars, okay? We ain't going to say coins no more because coins just look like poverty. You know, poverty, honey, poverty. We ain't talking about coins. We talking about dollars, okay? Dollars are respected. Benjamins are greatly respected. But like I said, don't let the money run you. You run the money, okay? But we see how some people do get down. And I'm not saying Nene is one of them. Don't get me wrong. I'm just talking. I'm just giving y'all commentary. My opinion on some things. Okay. My sidebars. All right. Whew, for the people that can hear me, hear me. For the people that don't have a clue what I'm talking about. Keep listening. But I want to shout out Miss Val Williams and Sheila Puri. Yes. Those are my ladies up in here. Always commenting. Always shining their lights on what their theories are, even when they don't agree with me sometimes, we respectfully disagree with one another. But I just want to shout them out because they be rolling with a sister. They didn't think they were going to roll with me, but they rolling. They rolling, honey. And they know how to hit my hand when they feel like I don't say the wrong thing. And I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it because I can understand critique. I can understand educated criticism. What I can't understand is all that cussing, all that verbiage. Woo, I can't stand that, people. That's one thing to get on my PP list, okay? You can really have me thinking real awful about you. But, I, you know, I know that's, some, that's how, how some people communicate. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just not one of them communicators. When I be hearing all that cussing, going back and forth when I'm reading it, that they don't put out, it's just too much. It's just I, I would just say, don't watch me no more, period, okay? Because you really ain't going to like me when I come on screen, a lot of things happening next year. I'm speaking them into fruition. But yes, you're going to probably see me more giving you my commentary and my videos playing in back of me. That's what I plan on doing. But like I said, I got to put some money down. I had to give me another computer. Got to give me a microphone. So you'll really be seeing me. Okay. And I might have you call in while I'm doing a video. So when I'm finished with the video, you can cuss me out. 
or however you want to have a conversation with me or whatnot, uh, live as they must say it. Okay, so I got some things coming. I got some uh, things in the works. Okay, so y'all can see my uh commentary. You can see me live giving it to you and seeing my expressions on how I am doing things. But right now, my computer don't even come give me a visual, okay? That's how old this computer is, and I've been using it dutifully for uh, the last ooh, several years, so it needs updating. It does need updating, okay? Because I don't beat it to death, all right? But anyway, I've been flipping through Nene's little archive of her photos, and I have come to the conclusion that Miss Nene Leakes has some type of anxiety when she's out there in the public eye. Because I've been just, you know, kind of feeling these stories that I hear about her here and there, you know, and I'm like, okay, okay, I'm thinking of something. So my conclusion has come to the fact that Miss Nene Leakes, she's shy. She may have this front, this front she want to show everybody and all this, but when she's by herself, she uses her phone as a mechanism to keep people away from her. Because she ain't got to be talking to nobody. She just had that phone be talking about it. You stay around her long enough and watch her, her behavior while she's waiting on her flight in the airport or in the shopping center. You may see her. Hey, that phone might ring. <laughs> then you could get a real chuckle like, wait a minute, I thought you was on that phone talking. But sometimes people use that as a mechanism that they're not comfortable in public. And so they have to use something to keep people away from them. Then on the flip side, she could just not wanting to be bothered with nobody. She in a bad mood. Or she just don't want to feel nobody. She don't want to be in her own bubble while she's trying to get to her next destination. So she may use that as a um as a what you call it? Um, what do you call it? Uh, 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 a stage scene is what I guess I'm I'm trying to say. And I, I just got that conclusion when I saw it. Cause I'm like, okay, now I see pictures with her. Majority of the time, she's in an airport setting or she's in a big event with a lot of people around her that not, not necessarily are name brand people. And when I say name brand people, people, I'm talking about like other celebrities that are well known out there where she can sit and have a kiki, have a fake conversation with them if you must, just to keep outsiders as she see regular everyday people as just that. Unless you're uh patroning her in a sense. You're at her boutiques and you're shopping uh and doing those things. You're putting in what she has established to make money. See what I'm saying? You get that little uh nice nasty I'm going to be kind to you in a sense because you're buying my goods, you know, or she's having a uh, a book signing or something to that nature. Then she probably won't have her phone in her hand. But I think Nini's just um, don't want to be bothered with people. She has that as a mechanism to keep people away from her or she's shy. I'm leaning on the latter part, but I'm going to keep watching Nini sail through these YouTube streets and in her reality world and just see where does it get her. I see she's rubbing heads with a lot of elite people. If those who have ears to hear me, you know what I'm talking about when I'm saying elite. Okay, I see her cozying and up. So I wonder, has she been tapped? I don't know, girl, Nene. I see you, girl. I see you. But anyway, that's just my tea that I am trying to spill. I ain't got nothing for Nene on that. But if she wants to float like that, go ahead, girl. Go ahead, but don't sell your soul. Don't sell your soul. But some people say you already have. I don't know if that's true or not. Okay, but we'll keep watching. We'll keep watching if we have to watch from the bushes, okay, and tune in here and there, all right, when we want to break stories. But anyway, like I said, going to this article that Ron Collins had brought out on Nene, Chasing the Bad, let's get on in here. Let's get on into the meat and potatoes. It says, if you've been wondering what Nene Leaks is up to these days, well, she's just updated her fans and followers on social media. Okay, I told you, girl, little social media, y'all be thinking they don't, but they do. They love it. That's how they stay relevant. So, those who have eyes to hear, those who have, I mean, eyes to see and ears to hear, get into it. Okay, it's all a plan to group us in to keep us talking about them. See what I'm saying? So, y'all really shouldn't be getting on anybody who make comments or videos about your faves, okay? 
we're giving you some of the dirt that they probably won't give you because they don't want it spilled out on themselves because it's embarrassing. They don't want it to be like that. Just like Nene, when it comes to her um, her grandkids, it's not that she probably don't want to share them with us. She knows what the public and the um, her celebrity ship can do. It can turn it for the negative. So she kind of want to keep them silent. And I respect, I respect Nene about that. Don't post your pictures of your family, honey, because that's one way for people to come in that don't like you, that don't care for you. They sit there and will talk about you, your family, and run through your uh, grandkids and, and, and even your, your friends that they don't see half the time. Because that's just how some people get down. They won't let people live. Now, I'm going to always uplift you and I'm going to always chastise you if you're doing something to a regular human being that out in the world, the regular world with the regular people's comings and goings and support you when they come to your boutiques or when they uh, sit and click on the television screen or watch it from their cell phones, the uh, brand name household reality show you're on, okay? Because believe it or not, your fans, your followers, they kind of make you because they don't like you. The worst thing you could do is get on their nerves real bad and they will simply say, okay, we're boycotting you. <laughs> and then you could just see what it is. But you do it, they're doing it from a place of hurt or they're doing it because you are actually doing something very negative to people that actually support you. Be ride or dies for you and all that good stuff. But I'm thing I'm saying in that is just be kind. Be kind to people that will see you up in the airport and want to get an autograph or, or want to get a uh, what do you call it a uh, uh, a picture or two. I mean, don't you think you really owe that to them? I mean, you know, unless you really hitting it hard like that in your finances. You could take your own jet. Hell, buy you a jet, but charter a plane or what I what not. Have your own land, uh, plane field where you 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 get your own plane that you're renting or you buying your own hangar. That's what I'm saying. Well, you really done made it rich and be hell if the pastors can do it from these big mega churches can afford to have an airplane. Then that's where the status you need to be trying to push. Too. If you don't want to be among the common folks going through a, a public, very public airport station, I mean, I don't understand. I mean, that kind of upset my feelings right now. Like, how dare you go out in public? But you want people to come to you and, and uh, buy your goods and stuff, and then you want to treat them like shit. I mean, some people are starstruck. I'm not one of those kind of people, and I definitely have met some celebrities because I do live in Atlanta and I do float in certain areas. So I am privy to certain people, but I don't go flash it. I don't go tell it or, or whatnot and put it on flash street. Like, Ooh, I met them. Ooh, they, I took a picture with them. This, that, third. No, no. Cause they everyday people. When you really actually see them, it's only, I, I don't think I've met any of them uh, that really act like they act on their shows, their reality shows. They act totally different. Uh, self for one. Um, her name was Toya Wright. Y'all know her. I saw her in um, Louis Vuitton store that's out in Lenox Mall. Yes, I have a purse there. I have coaches. Yes, I have some things. And I'm just an everyday hardworking person. You don't have to be a celebrity to go up in them stores, okay? You might get treated a little bit more nicer. They might break out the champagne and stuff. But your coin spent, oh, let me sit, take that back. Not, not no coin. Your uh, dollars, Benjamins, however you get down, uh, they spend just like the celebrity's money, okay, I was, well, I say mine, I ain't gonna speak for nobody else, may go a little shorter than theirs, <laughs> but we can have some of the things that they have, it just takes us a little longer to pay for it, but, uh, yes, getting back to the story, okay, it said, uh, if you've been, okay, we've got that, people praise her, on her looks and make sure to tell her she has definitely lost weight. Now you see what I'm saying, Nene? They coming up to you real shy, recognizing that you are looking good. So whatever you're doing, keep doing it. People are are applauding you for that, okay? Then in the comment section, someone said, you ain't got to chase shit, okay? It just comes to you and one follower posted, the bag is chasing you, queen, okay? One friend 
one fan praised Nene's looks. You look absolutely cute, Nene. Is this a swag boutique piece? Okay. Uh, another follower said, might slap the phone out of a hater's hand. Haven't decided. Now, see, whoever did that would make a fun of you, Nene, because that, that, mm -mm, that's an assault charge, baby. You shouldn't be putting your hands on nobody's property, okay? Unless you want to invest in replacing that property, okay? But anyway, another commenter said, someone believes that Nene should have her own, very own talk show. You should have a talk show. You give such good advice, and you know when people are full of shit. Well, for that commentary, I'm like, it go both ways because Nene can get a little shitty uh, and pop them out herself. Whether she have a, a, re, um, a talk show host, I don't really know what she would talk about because she's not as kind to uh, certain people in the industry I hear. I don't know. I ain't telling you because this is what I hear. And until it's posted by somebody bigger than myself, we just going to let some things ride, okay? But Nene has the capability of having a show. I'm just trying to figure out who would want to come on her show. Maybe anybody can get in comments and try to tell me who would want to come on her show and throw some tea. Because it'd be like, okay, she going to act like Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams started that shit a long time ago. When she was in her 20s. On a, she was a radio personality, okay? And I heard Bill Cosby and some artist I was reading had wanted to get her fired from her little radio gig she had. But, you know, the, uh, things worked out. I, you know, maybe the Lord helped her. I don't know. Because I don't know who she praised these days. All right. But uh, she didn't get fired. And she went on to have a very good radio career and it ended up turning into something very big. And she became a gossip queen. Because that's basically what she is. She dropped teas on everybody else's uh, business out there. And everybody loves to go to her show. Well, at least some people do. And the only reason they're doing it is to stay relevant and to be out there in the public eye. To stay fresh in uh, the audience and fans or followers' eyes. Okay? So they need that. They deserve that. And we deserve to talk about them very respectfully. And don't get me wrong because we don't want to come up here cussing folk out, cussing at them and this, that, and the third. No, just say what's on your mind, what irritates you about that person and let it go. You know what I'm saying? Everybody have opinions. Like some people tell me everybody have buttholes. We do know that, right? If they're human, everybody have mouths. Okay? Just be respectful in what you say when you say it. Okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it says a fan told Nene at Nene Leaks gives me that outfit. No, give me that outfit while you're chasing and go slip on another real quick and keep chasing. Okay. And then it hashtag love the leaks woman. God bless. Okay. Another uh, follower posted. I love this woman. People know who the boss is. They always walk behind them. Now, honey, no. <laughs> I really don't agree with that because you may just be coming out your car and they just may have walked in front of you and you have to walk behind them. No, don't ever look bad on people or look down on people, okay? Because they may have to pull you up after you fall down because everybody ain't going to stay on top for long. That's a damn so good observation. People don't always stay on top. They end up coming back down. On um, their will, their own volition, or somebody else bring them down. Okay, so be nice when you're traveling up that ladder. Okay, so when you do come down, it's a softer fall. One that you wanted to happen, or maybe one that you didn't want to happen, it just happened. Okay, but going back to the article, it says, Nene shared another pic, which she captured. You got to keep your head up, but when mine is down, my team has my back. Honey, the only team you should be having is a Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay? Because people will let you down. They will dog you. And they will throw back daggers in your back. But if you okay with your team, go ahead, boo. Because that same team, you are paying. All right? So, anyway, you paying for their services. Ain't nothing free in this world, Nene. And don't trust in and everybody. Okay, that was just my spiel, my pun intended. Going back to the article, Nene fans said, always, we got you. But I'm not the type of person you should probably ever put on speakerphone, okay? Sounds like a uh, Marlo. Sounds like a Marlo, honey. Okay, then we got someone come into this. That say, blessing have support and people who truly have your back. Before this, Nene had been criticized a lot by some of her followers. People have been accusing her that she went under the knife too much and now she's unrecognizable. Okay, now my thing is, if you want to get cut up, sh sold up, shipped out, Okay, plastic looking. That's you. That's you all day long, honey. Do you? Because all the all the one person that can truly judge you and make a real good definitive observation and their opinion counts. That's the Lord Himself, because He created you. 
Okay, but I ain't got nothing else for this video. I just thought I'd spit it out there to y'all. Y'all, uh, see if y'all like it. Get in them comments. Tell me you agree, you don't disagree, you hate it, you don't care for me. Turn me off, because that's what I tell everybody. You ain't for you. Turn me off. Don't even go, not even fully in the video. Don't even waste one second. Okay, just turn me off. Okay? But for those who get with me, love me, subscribe, 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 like my videos, and share. Again, like my videos, share my videos, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right, peace out. See y'all next video. Bye-bye.